particulars of the case. The, the defendant is sitting there in the room. And the judge reads the particulars. The defendant is charged with illegal possession of cocaine. He was found in a van in Upper Manhattan in possession of 3,000 milligrams of cocaine. We caught, came, caught up with him and we uh, caught him. Well, is there any questions about the details of this case? And I'm there, and I'm, you know, these are like regular people on the, you know, <laughs> in this point, there's like a maid, a, you know, like a car repair guy, a, a, a you know, checkout clerk. I mean, these are like people working hard for the, and I'm there, so this, and I'm there, an astrophysicist, right? So, so, I said, Your Honor, I'm curious. Why did you say that the defendant was in possession of 3,000 milligrams of cocaine? That's just three grams, which is less than the weight of a penny. And he said, oh, uh, well, well, it's because that's just what it says here. And I said, but it sounds like you're trying to make it sound like it's more cocaine than it actually is. I'm just curious why you would read it that way. <laughs> the whole jury. <laughs> And I listen, I, and the judge says, well, do you have any questions about the facts of the case? Do you understand them? As I've read I said, I, I got a question, sir. Why did you read... Why did you read the cocaine possession the way you did. I said, what do you mean? I said, you said he had 2,000 milligrams of cocaine. That's two grams. The milligram is 1,000 divided by the thousand is two grams. Less than the weight of a penny. Why, sir, did you say it just that way? And then he looked at, oh, that's just because that's how it's written here. He didn't know what he was reading. He didn't understand what he was reading. And so there I am, and I, and I said, because it sounds like you're making the possession sound worse than it actually was. I'm concerned about that. You know, I want us back out on the street, I guess. <laughs> no!